Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of ways to use Google Drawings inside your Google Drive account. Let's go ahead and get started here. And we'll select New, and we'll go to the Google Drawings. Now, this first activity that we're going to do is using Google Drawings as a simple mind mapping tool. So let's go ahead and call this one a mind map about fall. So I'm going to start by putting my text box right up here. And I'll write in the word fall. And just like in Google Documents, you can change the font style, change the size. You can even center it up inside that box. You can make the box itself a little bit smaller if you want to. Then again, reposition it. Now, I'm going to put a little outline around this box. So while I still have the box highlighted, I just clicked on it to highlight the box. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to choose a line color. I'll just use black for now. And I'll put a thick line around it. So now let's add some more text boxes. And I might say something like, leaves change color. And again, I'm going to put a little outline around that box. I'll put another text box in over here. And we'll say weather gets cooler. And let's put in one more box. And we'll say, in this case, school homecomings. And again, I'm going to put a border around that. Now let's connect all of these lines. So to do, to do these connections, I'm just going to go up here, select an arrow, and I'll draw my arrow to each one of the boxes coming off of the fall box. And I could even have these two boxes connected as well, going both ways. And I can make each one of those arrow lines a little bit darker, I can even make them different colors. In fact, I could even make them dotted or dashed if I didn't want to use solid lines. So that's one way of using Google Drawings. And of, of course, when you're done with this drawing, you can save it automatically in your Google Drive account, but you can also download it as a PDF, an SVG, a PNG, or a JPEG file. And if you want students to work on this together, of course, you can have them invite each other as collaborators. Now in this next activity with Google Drawings, we're going to use Google Drawings as a way to label an existing image or diagram. So I'll go to Google Drawings again. And this activity we're going to call it Labeling the Garbage. And we're going to start with a picture that I have of my dog Max getting into the garbage. Now I can upload that picture from my computer directly, or if I've previously used it in my Google Drive account, I should be able to access it there. And so there it is. And I might ask students to identify the things that Max got into in the garbage and draw some labels in. So I'll move that picture over to the side. And we'll put it in a text box. And we can see here that Max got into a Frito chip wrapper. And again, I can put a little border around this. And I'm going to have my students draw in those lines to call out the things that Max got into in the garbage. Now, of course, you can do this with any kind of diagram or any kind of image that you upload. The other nice thing about using this in Google Drawings is that you can hyperlink to any website or any video on the web. So perhaps my students want to put in a little bit more information about Frito chip bags. Well, we'll go back into this box here. We'll highlight Frito chip bag click insert link 
and put in a link to the Fritos website. So that's another way of going about using Google Drawings in the classroom. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.